students observe here what is the reminder now reminder zero this is the answer see which option correct first option so this is a very very important question previous mains question they are asking a uh, fractional part of 2 power 2003 divided by 70 first take that 2 power 2003 now this is convert in the form of either 17 plus 1 whole power expansion or 17 minus 1 whole power expansion so in terms of 17 we want to convert so how this is 2 power 2000 i am writing 2 cube into 2 power 2000 2 power 2000 this is 2 cube 2 power 4 2 power 4 how much students 16 16 we can write 17 minus 1 is or no so 2 power 4 whole power how much 500 500 yes now 2 cube means how much 8 8 into 2 power 4 is 16 16 means i am writing 17 minus 1 whole power 500 students expand this 500 C zero into seventeen power five hundred minus five hundred C one into seventeen power four ninety nine plus and so on minus five hundred C four hundred and ninety nine into seventeen. Plus five hundred C five hundred. Okay. Now here observe that these terms, each and every term having the seventeen or not. So take seventeen common. Remaining is remaining is integer only. So. Finally, I am writing here eight into seventeen common. Remaining part take some integer m. But here five hundred c five hundred is say that value how much one. But multiply with eight. What we get students plus eight or not? Plus eight or not? Now. 2 power 2003 is equal to 17 into 8m plus 8. Now divide with the uh, 17. 2 power 2003 divided by 17. That is equal to 17 into 8 into m divided by 17. Plus eight by seventeen. Now here this is integer only, but eight by seventeen is not integer. Is it no? Here first term seventeen seventeen cancel means remaining is only eight m. M is integer. If integer you are multiplied with eight again you will get integer only. Is it no? Now, finally, fractional part of two power two thousand three divided by seventeen. They are asking only fractional part. That meaning is reminder only. Reminder. So what is that? Eight by seventeen. Here reminder. It is divisible by seventeen means reminder is eight. But they are asking fractional part of two thousand a two power two thousand three divided by seventeen. That is equal to 
Eight by seventeen is the answer. Which option correct, students? Fourth option. This is September month, May's two thousand twenty given. If T zero, T one, T two, and so on, T n are the consecutive terms in the expansion x plus y whole for n, then T zero minus T two plus T four minus T six plus and so on whole square plus T one minus T three plus T five minus T seven and so on whole square is equal to. So this is the question. then how to do students tell me how to do this now take the expansion x plus a whole power n what is the expansion students n c 0 x power n plus N C one x power n minus one into a plus N C two x power n minus two into a square and so on. I am writing last term or before term both N C n minus one x into a power n minus one plus N C N into a power n. This is the expansion. Now what I am doing means let in place of a replace i a. That means I am using here complex number i a. Replace it. Let a is equal to i a. Then what happens, students? X plus i a. Whole power n x plus i a whole power n. Now students observe that n c zero x power n plus n c one into x power n minus one into Uh, instead of a, write that i a plus n c two x power n minus two into i a whole square plus n c three into x power n minus three into i a whole cube. Plus and so on. Now here, here see that are the consecutive terms in the expansion x plus y whole power n. Then uh, they are asking t zero minus t two plus t four minus t six whole square. These are the coefficients t zero, t one, t two, t three means they are. I think they are terms. Terms. Okay. Okay, now see, n c zero x power n. This is i into n c one x power n minus one into a. Okay, here will come i square. What is i square value? Minus. That's why minus n c two into x power n minus two into a square. Here i cube is there. What is i cube? Minus i minus i into n c three x power n minus three into a cube and so on. Okay. In this term, n c zero x power n means t zero. n c one x power n minus one into a means this is t one. N C two into x power n minus two means t two like that. Those are the terms. So now I am going to replace it. This is t zero plus i into t one 
minus t2 minus i into t3 next term we get t4 t4 and so on like this now observe here x plus i a whole power n that is equal to first i am going to write a real part t0 minus t2 plus t4 minus t6 and so on these are the real part next write the imaginary part take i common t1 minus t3 plus t5 minus and so on like this now but see the question the terms we got but square is uh, when it is possible square students mod x plus i y mop apply the modulus we get under root x square plus y square see here when it is possible uh, square means if you are applying mod here also apply the mod x plus i a whole power n and right hand side also apply the mod right hand side also apply the mod so i am going to next step that is under root x square plus a square whole power n here also under root what we get students tell me t0 minus t2 plus t4 minus t6 and so on whole square plus t1 minus t3 plus t5 minus t7 and so on whole square now we want to eliminate the square root that's why squaring on both the sides now we get the answer square root is eliminated x square plus a square whole power n that is equal to t0 minus t2 plus t4 minus t6 and so on whole square plus t1 minus t3 plus t5 minus and so on whole square Now finally what is answer students x square plus a square whole power n second option correct